what is up i'm moana turtle so today we have a pokemon opening we have eight packs of unbroken bonds uh but first i want to hit some news um there is a new card coming in the next japanese say remix bow uh that in my opinion is going to be super annoying uh it's a pokemon i'm never was never a big fan i feel like the pokemon is super ugly uh it's gonna apps but i think it could absolutely change the meta maybe for the better all right let's go to as always, PokeBeach.com, uh, War Pokemon Master, as always. So, here we have Alolan Persian GX. This Pokemon always looks so weird. <laughs> His round face always bothered me. I feel like it's just, of all the Alolans, there, a lot of them are so cool. Uh, but then that one's just like, ooh, what happened to, what happened to Persian, which wasn't too crazy about being with. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, at a quick glance, this is a very boring Pokemon. 200 HP for a stage 1 GX, uh, or I guess. Um, dark, or Claw Slash, uh, Dark plus 2 colorless for 120 damage. Are you serious? That's super weak. And then it's GX attack, so the same cost does 120 damage to any of your opponent's Pokemon. Like, oh my gosh, that's probably the weakest GX. Uh, but it's this smug face, and that's such a perfect name. Um, for such a funny looking Pokemon. So, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's tag team Pokemon, Ultra Beasts, and Pokemon with special energies attached to them. So, that means, obviously, like the big ones, the Picaram, uh, the Reshizards, the, there's a whole other slew of other tag teams coming in the near future. Ultra Beasts. Um, so, there's, Maybe there's still Naganados floating around. Baby Buzzwalls, Blacephalons. Uh, actually, all of the GX Ultra Beasts. Um, and then, like, alright, well, there's still other GXs that you can use, um, but they can't have special energies attached to them. So, like, yeah, I'm not even... That means a DCE, I'm pretty sure it's considered special energy. Um, so, you can't use DCE. So, I feel like this thing, this Pokemon potentially could single-handedly uh, really slow down the meta. Uh, as far as like very mainstream decks right now, I feel like um, Arcanine comes to mind as a great counter to this. And then basically GXs that are not Ultra Beasts, uh, Tapu Koko, for example. Uh, so while there's definitely still cards that can take this out um, when, when needed, uh, I do feel like this thing just puts up a wall in front of so many things that are meta defining right now so a pokemon i'm not a big fan of but uh it will really change the meta potentially for the better maybe you know it'll really mix up the thing this is a very anti-meta card uh so let me know what your thoughts down below are in in a comment uh what do you think about this new card do you think it's a good thing um and what do you think about the pokemon all right let's get into the opening we have our eight packs of unbroken bonds let's see how we can do for our first pack we have a meltan Mel metal lucario pack art Ooh, i think i saw something so are we gonna get some first pack hits let's see what we can do we have a fighting energy fire crystal good card d evolution spray z togetic diglet polywag rhyhorn Growlithe, Cubone, Squirtle for the reverse, and then, all right, we got, <laughs> we got a full art, but it's a Venomoth. <laughs> I'm being way too harsh. Um, I actually faced this in PTCGO a couple times. Um, I, th I think it's an interesting mechanic where when you need to play specific supporters and it does more stuff. I like the idea, but this thing is just too weak but hey we pulled a full art <laughs> right off the bat so i i give venomoth a hard time i i know i should be i should be celebrating more than actually yeah. all right huge hit i guess let's keep going can we get another one i do feel like i want another one <laughs> all right darkness uh togetic oh i'm terrible all right fairy charm Crocker Rock. Sympathy. Apologies to anyone that is a huge fan of Venomoth and Alolan uh, Persian <laughs> as well. Alright, we got a Litten. A Lickitung for reverse and then a Tangrowth. Regular rare. 
yeah, as far as full arts go, that's that might be the one I least. Ah, oh, that I'm also not a big fan of Honchkrow. And most of the other full arts, I'd probably be more excited about about pulling. All right, let's see. We got a Fire Energy, Laron, Martial Arts Dojo, Fairy Charm, Poliwag, Ekans, Drowsy, Pikachu on a boat, a Grubbin, Ghastly for the reverse. And then a cute Butterfree. I wonder if there was ever a really strong Butterfree attack. I feel like Butterfree, he always has so little HP that... I wonder if there was ever like a Butterfree card that was actually a one that, you know, you throw on the battlefield to duke it out with the strongest Pokemon. I always feel like they're kind of like a supporter where he... One of them, you kind of just... Uh, discard them to heal up another one this one I think is for kind of like massive ramp all right we got a oh then we just pull a ghastly for reverse and then a quagsire regular rare all right things have cooled off significantly since our full art pull right in the beginning all right as always guys if you do want to support the channel hit that like button down below greatly appreciate that and uh, if you're not already hit that if you're not already a sub be sure to sub as well on your way out all right, let's see. We got a Torcat, surprise box, chat it, Rubbin, Gasly. I'm pulling a lot of Gasly. Glygar, Spritzy, Do Duo, a Furo for the reverse. Whoa, this card sounds pretty good. Flip a coin if heads this card two energy for your opponent's active Pokemon. That's, that sounds actually. Ooh, Mew. This thing's actually pretty good. It's one thing people tech in just for some uh, bench protection, prevent all damage done to your bench Pokemon by your opponent's attacks. So let's see. I think Honchkrow does that, although I don't think Honchkrow is the biggest threat. Um, Pikaram's GX attack can do 170 to your bench. Uh, Tapu Koko with the thing that does 20 damage to everything. Oh, the Hitmon Chan, Hitmon Lee into Hitmon Top. 60 damage to all your opponent's Pokemon. So uh, some cool protections. I think Naganatal can do that as well, if I remember correctly. Uh, so a pretty cool card. I seems like people are starting to tech at least one of those in. All right, let's see. We got a Riolu, Porygon, Inkay, Caterpie, Clefairy, a Oddish for the reverse, and then a Salazzle. Two packs left. Let's try to get one more hit. All right, and uh, if in case you have, if you guys haven't uh, noticed, we are starting to uh, do the PTCGO content. Uh, so definitely expect to see more of that coming. Still learning. I think I'm starting to get the hang of the uh, probably one of the most flexible, easy to play decks. Stunfisk. This troll pancake fish thing. And then Zira Aura. This art is cool, but I feel like his his uh, proportions are kind of strange in that art. Okay, last pack. We might have used all of our luck in that first pack. But, can we get some last pack magic? Let's see how we do. Okay, for our last pack, we have a Psychic Energy, Toracat, Poliwhirl, Gloom, Clefairy, Poliwag, Ekans, Drowsy, Pikachu, Poliwap taking that belly flop, and then a Meowstic regular rare. Alright, so we only did get one hit, and it was a full art, although it was Venomoth. Um, and we talked about the new Persian GX soon to come out in the next Japanese set. I think that's dropping soon, uh, and we're definitely going to open at least one box of those. Uh, so that's all we have for today, guys. As always, like, comment, subscribe all down below. Thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.